Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're gonna add a testimonial section for our Shopify team. And it should work on any Shopify teams from debut team to Dawn 5.0. I know testimonial section is a very important part of your website. It does build trust. If you have a lot of visitors, but no one click or buy something, then you might wanna add a testimonial section to your website. So if you go to my main website, I use the same testimonial uh, section and it's yes, real comments from real people. Why I can say that? Because they can verify the comment. Uh, you can have Heather, you can have a subheader and also you, of course you can have a verified comment link and you can also not have it and also the text for comment. And the name of the author, you can also put the date, it's optional. And you can also put a picture, but for me, I didn't have pictures of my customers, so I don't have it. And if they click on the verified comment, it will lead them to the link where the comment is. So for this one, I have it on YouTube, so they can, you know, verify that it's real. And then I also provide them the comments from Shopify community. And if you see it right here, um, they can verify that it's real. And you can also click on this one and it will slide. Um, you can also make customizations on this. So if we go to the team editor, you can customize the, the of course, the headings and the subheadings. And you can always leave it blank and it will disappear. And you can also have the border color. So it only goes to the active slide and it also goes with the active dot. And you can also set the non-active color. So that would be this one right here. And also that that design, you can have a round corner and also no round corner. And of course, round. and you can put your padding tab and then also the padding bottom. And you can also add multiple of these inside the black. You can have the verify comment link. So to do that, you have to, um, example, you have to type uh, madeforyou.com. And then it will appear right here. Make sure you click that so it gets placed in the box. And also you can change the name of the link. So you can say comment. And then also you can have the text, of course, and you can make it bold or idealize or provide a link just the same as rich text. And you can also put the author and then the date. You can enter whatever date you want by 2020. And then also the author um, info position. So this one is on the right. You can put it on the center and you can also put it on the left. So it's really up to you on where you want it. And then also you can add a portrait size or landscape. It's really up to whatever photos you have. But um, I put this image object fit position. So right here I have it on the right, but you can also put it on the top. So see how the image moved and you can put it on the center and also bottom and you can also make it unset. So it's just going to set like that. And um, if we go to a landscape, so this is portrait. So if we go to a landscape photo, you can also adjust from left to right. So if we go to the left and then go to um, the right, and of course you can also do a center. And it's really up to whatever photos you have, but yes, portrait and landscape also works in this. It does also work with mobile. So when we go to our website, let's go here and then we'll click this um, inspect and make sure you have the mobile. And if we go in here, it's swipeable. The dots would be gone, but we have this text that says it's swipeable and it snaps to the center and it will change the active uh, slide. And you can see it's two for 750 and below, but it will go to like three on maximum. So it adjusts to a mobile size. And to start, we have to go to our Shopify store. We go to our Shopify store. We're going to go to our admin page and then online store and teams. 
And then I have this debut team. So I just want to show you that it works in other teams. So it's going to go click actions and then edit code. And then we're just going to expand this screen. And we're going to open the section folder and add a new section. So you can name it whatever you want. But for me, I'm just going to name it testimonials. And we're going to go to our website and then grab this first code right here and then replace this one. So delete this, highlight and delete and control V to paste and then control A to highlight and shift tab to reformat. So make sure you do this reformat. It really takes a lot of errors, especially when you're copy pasting and then click save. And then next we're going to add our script. So we're going to go to asset folder. And then this one is tem.js, but for Don, it would be uh, global.js, but you should know what is your main um, script. So we're going to add it on tem.js and we're going to go all the way to the bottom. And then we're just going to make a new line here and we're going to go to our website and then grab this code right here and then control V to paste. And I'm just going to highlight this one and then shift tab to reformat and then click save. And now we're going to add our section to our website. So we're going to right click this customized theme and then open a new tab. And I'm just going to add a section. I'm going to look for testimonial. So testimonial. So there's two. Let's see which one it is. So this is what we have. And let's add the testimonial to from debut team. This is the difference. So this one should work. And let me add, add a new. So it varies on the spacing, just a minor style difference. But if you do have some issues, don't hesitate to contact me. I can help you with that. And yes, that's how you add it in your Shopify uh, store. And especially with Dawn, they don't have a testimonial section. This would be a great addition to your uh, Shopify 2.0 teams. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.